entire team at uh, the Nation Media Group for winning uh, these awards and also for being finalists. All right, from that, uh, we take you to other stories now. And um, Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe has directed the Kenya Medical Training College Board, that's KMTC Board, to allow nurses with fees challenges to train and pay later. The CS said the training will enable the nurses to get foreign employment opportunities. Kagwe said nurses, irrespective of their financial status, should be given an opportunity to study and get jobs outside the country, adding that the country has more than 7,000 graduate nurses every year who cannot be absorbed into local institutions. According to Kagwe, KMTC was charging nurses who want to train for foreign jobs 40,000 shillings, yet most of them cannot afford that fee speaking during the official launch of the National Nursing and Midwifery Policy that seeks to streamline the sector and protect practitioners from legal suits emanating from their work. He said the government is already cooperating with the governments of Saudi Arabia, Italy, Kuwait and other countries to offer employment opportunities to Kenya's nurses. Now let me make it clear that we are not talking about sending our critical care nurses or the nurses that we need in the country. What we are talking about is the extra capacity that Kenya has built as a result of a, a, a passionate um, education system and that, will, that allows both public and private sector to participate in training. And that capacity, if we are not using in this country, should be taken to work overseas.